Hi, so a quick update on this uh, jump starter, jump pack thing from Lidl's. Um, I finally got round to doing some testing on it, unfortunately I didn't really get a chance to, uh, to film it. Um, I tried it on my Audi A3, uh, it's a 1.9 litre uh, diesel that it couldn't start it and um, this is without any battery connected so this is not putting it across a battery that's low and is struggling to turn the engine this is just taking the battery off and connecting this directly to it it certainly attempted to it got it to turn a tiny bit and then the device basically just shut itself off um, you could tell that by the uh, fact that obviously all your dash illumination the whole lot um, came on tried to turn it, a whole lot just went completely off and uh, then this device would reset itself again after a uh, few seconds. So would it start something like a 1.9 litre diesel if the battery is low? Possibly. Um, I would need to really get a battery or run my battery down uh, till it won't start the car to try that out to see if it would do it. Um, I'm sure I will probably do something like that because it would be nice to know if it's worth carrying this device around with me or not. I also hooked it up to a friend's little Nissan Micra. Now that's only a 1 litre petrol and it says it can do a 2 litre petrol. So I hooked it up to that with no battery connected directly to this. Started it, no problem at all. And nothing's been charged yet and it's still showing as having full charge. So I think so long as you keep within the... 2 litre petrol and the 1.6 litre diesel, I should think you've got a reasonably good chance that it will start it with a completely dead you know, battery with no life whatsoever in it. I think anything higher than that is going to be guesswork. It may do it if your battery is just weak, give it a bit of extra boost, or it may not do it. But the good thing about it is it does shut off, it does protect itself, it doesn't just sort of overheat and catch fire like some of the cheaper ones from China might do. And does it still work? Well, we saw the light comes on there. And if we uh, pop our connector back in, it's looking a bit wet at the minute because I've just got it out of the boot of the car and it's frosty out there. And uh, yeah, so it's uh, frosted up a bit. Yep, yeah, lights are flashing away, waiting for uh, the connection to the uh, the car. So yes, it works certainly within its uh, within its uh, you know declared uh, uh, specifications. Will it work on something like mine with a flattish battery? We have yet to find out. But I've ordered a uh, clamp meter, a uh, nice well, it's Unity one, but it does DC current and AC current. I wanted one that does DC current so that I can actually measure what the uh, cranking amps is on my car. And this is rated for 200 as a peak, so I'm expecting it probably will be over 200. Um, and that will give some indications to what's kind of required to get something like that started using one of these devices. Anyway, I hope you found that video useful. And if you've got any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. Uh, and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That all helps. And obviously, if you don't like it, you're more than welcome to give it a thumbs down. See you soon for the next one. Cheers.